Hello, I'm Uzair, and thank you for joining in. In this video, I'm going to show you how I built a business networking follow-up automation. Many business owners or managers go to these networking events to meet up with other fellow uh, business owners to build trust and to generate new leads or customers. And to generate new leads or sales, we need to build up trust with our prospect and trust building is a process which takes time you need to go back to the same meetings or events repeatedly to see the same people over and over again and eventually people will start to trust you and then they may use you for your services or buy products of you but there is a bit of a problem uh, most meetings happen either once a month or on a fortnightly basis and by the time the next event or meeting comes along you need to start the same process again because in a few minutes it's quite difficult to explain who you are what you do and how you can help uh, someone with your product or service so we need to build up this trust building process or speed it up a bit so my question is can trust be built on complete automation uh, to a certain extent, yes. Not fully, because you can't beat a face-to-face -face meeting or when you meet someone in person. But to speed up this trust-building process, we can use automation. And now there are systems and solutions available uh, which can help us uh, with this trust-building process. So the first problem we have is that we don't see everyone at a meeting. Uh, even if it's a small meeting, like 20 to 25 people in a room, we'll get to chat to about five or six people um, in, in depth, and the rest we will miss out. So the first problem we have is that we don't see everyone at the meeting. Even if it's a small meeting of 20 to 25 people in a room, we'll hardly get to chat to about four or five people. And the second problem is how do we build trust with those who we met for a very brief amount of time and also to get in touch with those who we missed. Now some networking events uh, give you details of all the attendees um, in a, at that meeting. So we can potentially get in touch with them. But we need to take this trust building and putting our message across to our prospects to the next level. And the solution for this is a hands-free email marketing automation. So this is a system where you set it once and forget about it. The automation and the software takes over and starts to put your message across in front of your audience at the right time. So let's have a look as to how this system works. Okay, so here's the workflow for this automation. So the automation starts when a contact subscribes to a list. And I've named this as phone networking as this is the networking meetings which I go to regularly. Then we have a condition over here. Does the contact match the following conditions? If yes, then end this automation. Uh, what this means is if the contact is already in the database then we don't want to send this um, automation again and send them uh, repeat emails of the emails which they have already received so as soon as the system checks that the person is in the software the automation will end and no further emails uh, will go out if there is no contact in the database, then the software is going to add a tag, first of all, to the contact. And you can name your tag to whatever you like. Then I've given a time delay of 10 minutes, but it's this is not necessary. Uh, you can either have it for two minutes or 60 minutes, it's, it doesn't matter. I usually wait 10 minutes just to make sure that all the contacts have come through properly and the emails have not fired straight away. Then 
I have a master list where all my contacts go in. So I may have different kinds of networking events uh, which I go to. So each one of them will have a different workflow. But I want them all in my master list. So when I do send out a monthly newsletter, then I want all my uh, contacts to receive it. Then we have another condition. Does the contact match the following conditions, which is contact has a tag one to one for networking. Now, those of you who go to for networking, we have three one to one appointments at every meeting. So if the contact has got a one to one tag, uh, which is set up when they are imported, then they will get an email which has the message about our one to one meeting. If I did not meet them, but I exchanged business cards or met them very briefly, then the condition no will apply and a message did not meet will go through. And in this email, it's all about, I'm sorry, I missed you at the last meeting. And here's a little bit of information about us. Now, during the one-to-one -one meetings, I do usually ask them whether they wish to receive some free information about Google tools or online marketing or, or something which they may be interested in. And if they say yes, then I'll uh, enter them into our automation. And if they say no, then obviously I do respect that and I won't uh, send them emails which they have not requested. And those people who I did not meet, um, I state in the email that if they wish to unsubscribe, uh, there is a link on the email and no further emails will be sent out. You always want to respect everyone's uh, privacy, especially when it comes to email marketing. And if they choose to receive further emails, then the automation will send them um, the following emails. Okay. Okay, so then I have a wait for two days. So after two days, the software is going to send email number two. Now, the workflow over here, once the first email has sent through, is going to come there. And now both of these contacts will receive the same emails. So only the first email is different and the rest are all the same. So now we wait for two days or the software will wait for two days and then send out the next email, which is email two. Wait another two days, email three. Wait another two, send. So you can have as many emails as you like, but I wouldn't recommend you have dozens and dozens, about five to six email. And in these emails, I'm showing them some great uh, free tools from Google, some online courses which are available for online marketing and something which it is of interest to them. Then the follow-up emails go out and the end is very important as to what happens when a contact reaches the end of the automation, which is over here. So just before the end of the automation, we have this uh, notify a condition it will send out an email to somebody in your company or to your sales team to let them know that the contact has reached the end of the automation and when they open up that contact they will see a lead score a lead score is a means of nurturing your leads from being a cold one to a warm or a hot one. And then that person will be able to see how many times that per contact opened up an email, clicked on a link, watched the video, replied to our email. And there are quite a few conditions which are applied to see the engagement and interaction of that contact with our email messages. And this is how we have set up a completely automated and hands-free email marketing for following up with our business networking contacts. I hope you enjoyed this video.
and if you do have any questions please hit the reply button on the email or give us a call and I'll be more than happy to answer any questions you may have. Thanks for joining in and bye for now.